Let's just fix whatever is going wrong in your dog training business in like a minute and a half. And I'll just tell you the main thing you need to know to resolve everything. You're struggling, you're burning out, you're just getting started, doesn't matter what's going on. This is the answer. It's all about one thing. If you're dealing with some major struggles and irritations in your dog training business, business dried up all of a sudden the last couple of months, or you're burning out, you're starting to get to that point where you would love to keep going in your dog training business, but people are driving you insane and you're even starting to like dogs a little bit less. And it's just because you're just working too hard to make the income that you're making and you don't know how you can increase your income and do better in your dog training business without working twice as hard. And you really don't know exactly how you're going to reach your goals or grow or fix things or turn things around or even just get started if you're just getting started without beating your head against the wall. But maybe any of the struggles that you're having right now are your fault and maybe they're not. So I wanted to share this clip with you. This is from a masterclass that I actually just did last week with a group of about 100 dog trainers. And one of the things we were talking about is exactly how much control you have over what's happening in your business right now and the problems you're facing and the struggles or the difficulties or the annoyances or the frustrations and what you can do about it. So during this part of the class, I actually said something that ended up being one of the favorite quotes of the whole class. So what I was actually talking about is I was sharing a personal story about my cancer battle earlier this year and how that relates to your dog training business and the struggles that you might face in your dog training business. When you have a major problem and your back is against the wall and you have no idea what to do and you have to figure it out. And there's always one thing that you can do about any kind of major problem like that. And that is to take in more knowledge on that problem and the solution that other people in your situation have experienced or done in the past, the people who've gone through that, that same thing and have gone down that same path before you. So that's the context. That's what we were talking about at the time. And now have a look and see what happened. So recognizing that you have that control over your outcome so that you don't just think this is happening to me. This is happening to me. There's nothing I can do. You know, I received a lot of health advice from doctors and friends and family, and you have to take responsibility for the results of the decisions so I needed to educate myself and take control with the input from others and realize that I was also going to determine the success or failure of my health and what happened from that point on that, that I had responsibility for, that I actually had control over it. And that's one of the things that, that like when I talk about cancer related things that bothers me also about the cancer world is that majority of the time, one of the things the doctors do that's well-meaning is they say, this was just random. It's just genetics. It's just, there's nothing you did. There's nothing that you did to cause this. And I think it's nice for people to not blame themselves. And I even tell you guys, hey, it's not your fault. You're where you are. You didn't know. And that kind of thing. But that also takes away your responsibility and your control. And it takes away your power to say like, you didn't have any control over that. It's, 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 there's nothing you could have done. So it's not your fault. And there's nothing you could have done are two totally different things. And the, the benefit now is that now I know, and now I know what to do. And you do as well. And that's where you are now. So anything that you're like, oh man, I was really screwing that up. Like Lisa, what you said earlier, you know now. So now you can, you have responsibility and control over the outcome. So write that down and realize, remember that you recognize that you do have control over the outcome.